Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Vicky. Uh, thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe if you like content. And if you're here, thank you for always looking out for me. So this time, I am not taking you to a restaurant. We're going to Lugazi to zip lines. I'd always thought it was in Jinja because um, I don't know why I thought that, but we're going to Lugazi. I'll give you the finer details in the vlog. Um, yeah, but for now, just along the Jinja Highway, stop at Lugazi and you'll find this place. It's called Griffin Falls Camp. And um, yeah, there's lots to experience once you get here. Once you get here, you're led into the tiny little building and given a description of their services and given a contract, which you sign. And yeah, head on to the next level. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Do you want to participate in my vlog? Have you noticed I've been doing a vlog? This wife. <laughs> and it was my married. Do I have your Do I have your permission? To tell the yes. Okay, we're married. And this is our chill day out. And as you can see, we've been going through I don't know what sugarcane plantation that was, but when Lugazi what doing zip lining. Yeah. So directions to the place, you move through the main road to Jinja. Um, there's a junction, is it a junction that has Stanbic and Total? You, you go to the side of Stanbic and then from there use a map. I'll link it below, the Google link, Google map link. And yeah, we're here. This is the most terrifying thing I have done my entire life. So I came back More terrifying here. than bungee jumping. I haven't been bungee jumping before, so really? maybe, yeah, so we'll do it sometime. So yeah, we're going, our instructor is called Hakim, we're going for a briefing, so yeah. So I just realized that. drive and drive and drive and just when you think you're like you're going to land into the man it tells you to go, you'll drive some more <laughs> and then yeah, we'll arrive. Right, so we're here. Bye -bye. Hi. Yeah. Hello, kitty. Please don't hiss at me. I pray. Don't hiss. Don't hiss. Okay. Great. Bye. So. You're welcome at Griffin Falls Camp. I'm Hakim. It's Isaac. So we are going in for zip lining. Where yeah, by here, it's a tribute activity. And uh, these are the gears we use. The whole of it is called a harness. It has a safety rope on it. Just to help us whenever we are high up in place. We are always hooked for our safety purposes. Just in case you knock Vicky, that's a normal It's put on like a pant, it has a waist tightener and a thigh tightener. Yeah. Then this is our means of transport. It's called a trolley. It's the one we connect on a cable wire. Mm -hmm. So this gear carries 250 kgs, but for us we recommend one gear. Yeah. Then the cable wire we have in the forest, it's one ton. So I think you're nothing. And we are going to be going one by one. So you're like 100 if you're too heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what you should do. So we connect it like this. But you said it carries 100, so you need to get the first. One time. One time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just connect it like this. And we lock. That's the good thing. So this one is connected on the paper wire. Then we bring in the sector rope, which is being connected somewhere when you're just turning at a part. We add it on. Then we lock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are just main, two main precautions. One is about where to hold and one is about landing. So whenever we are lining, if we feel like holding, then we are supposed to hold onto these ropes. We should not be tempted to hold in front of the moving machine. It will hurt your feet. Because it's already loaded with your weight. You're seated here. 
So when we are zip lining, another precaution is about landing. You just put your legs up and land on top. Each tree has a table-like structure, which we call the platform. I said there are like, there are seven trees, mm -hmm. seven platforms, and seven lines. Okay. So each tree has a table-like structure on which we stand. Mm -hmm. So you wait, for instance, you're moving from this tree to the other one. So you just put your legs up and land on top of the platform so that you don't hit your legs on the edge of the platform. So by legs up, you mean this? You have to pass the table? Then you, yeah. yeah. Okay. You land like a bat. <laughs> but what? <laughs> it's okay. Mm, I think uh, we're just going to walk for 15 to 20 minutes to the point. Okay. Then we climb up the tree. So the walk is about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how fast or slow you were. I had issues with my camera so I kept on stopping and I wasn't timing the whole process. But yeah, it's a nice little thing. You get to see monkeys um, up in the trees. The last time I was here, they were all over the path. I don't know what has happened. We were told they migrated to get buried somewhere else, something about the weather. So yeah, whether you're you're doing any of the services, so they have archery as well. I forgot the price of the archery. But yeah, um you can either do that or zip lining and then they say they also have lodging. So you can get in touch with that for them. I'll put um all the details in the description. So the first part of the zipline process should be climbing up this tree. It shouldn't be that hard because I think the rope they clip onto you should give you extra support. Because um, I was talking to Victor and he said it was easy. Well, I felt like I was using a lot of upper body strength because I literally use my arms to go up. And I feel like I, that's like one of my weaknesses. And um, it shouldn't be hard, like I said. Yeah, but take precaution, of course. Um, some people have had, don't go all the way up, they stop in the middle. Three, two, one. Enjoy this. Wait, wait, please okay. don't push you me. You can do it. You can okay. do it. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Your 
be fine. Okay, school. I feel like the I'm levels get, get yeah. harder as you go okay. from one tree to another. To like okay. the heights become to different, the platforms become shorter, so you let go. Some people get more comfortable. Like I think Victor started to over enjoy himself, and I was kind of jealous. But yeah, you can let go and maybe flip. Put I I wouldn't necessarily say flip, but people put their legs in the air like victor even got the 360 after some time so it gets easier the levels get harder but it gets easier at home of course um definitely better than bungee jumping you've tried bungee jumping before no how do you know it's better because uh the thrill lasts longer that's how i, like I it. know that's exactly like, what i was thinking like over and over again so yeah. if you've been to here and bunyoni tell us know which one is better like the zip lining personally i prefer this and i haven't yet tried bunyoni because it seems like one flat thing mm -hmm. but otherwise yeah i'm still scared i guess you guys saw the footage this one was a star, a superstar, until it came to holding the 360. <laughs> but yeah, um, so the cost is the pick, the cost is sixty thousand if you're Ugandans, and if you are a foreigner, it is. Hakim, how much is it for foreigners? For foreigners. Oh, no. One forty. Or no, one. it's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Fifty dollars for foreigners. So yeah, um, lovely. That was it. If you like um my channel and this is a new one. I don't know if I'll I don't usually do such stuff because of course the cost and this is the most cost effective I've ever done. But yeah, um if you like my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video. How was it? It was amazing. Actually. Amazing, but I wouldn't come here and the next time come here because I need to forget this. <laughs> she said two years ago. That's what I said. And but she came back. <laughs> okay, fine. But we shall be waiting to see you back again. <laughs> So that you try out upside so Hakim down. was a really good instructor he yeah. took so many pictures of us i was actually telling him he should have taken our wedding photos because he's really good and very helpful and um yeah again this was part of griffin falls camp thank you for letting me film this and this are the views on our way home they're very 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 pretty <laughs> so yeah i would say if you can try to make it home around 5 36 it would look so beautiful Anyways, bye. Thanks for watching.